see every day. I'm getting a police escort backwards on the freeway. Nice and early, 6 a.m. Got the new shoppers up above me. I'm about to show you guys what I got right now in a second. I gotta time this perfect. Oh, I beat Omar. All right, guys, stay tuned. Guys, this is uh, not a hard job per se. I mean, this thing's empty, but it's blocking all lanes of the freeway. There's one right there in the back that they're gonna use to alleviate the traffic that's all backed up on the 605 northbound side. I'm gonna do something I've never really done before. CHP needs these lanes open ASAP. ASAP. So as I walk out my boom, I'm gonna just attach to that rim, drive forward about 100 feet, and winch this thing out, straighten it out. Dragging and, and doing stuff like that is not something we, we normally do, but CHP said, I don't care. Now, lanes. So. But I'm working this one with Omar again at Titan Toe. This is his job. I'm just too quick for the world. I got here first on scene. Uh, that's a good amount. So the reason I'm picking up from the front end, by the way, instead of dragging the rear end, is because of this major spill. There's oil and diesel. If you lift up the rear end, it's gonna scrape all the stuff on the front, sparks and whatnot. Picking up the front end alleviates that. Hey guys, uh, all hands on deck. Can't be on the phone too much. I got two eight foot grommets things attached to the rim. Let's see, like I was saying, I'm attached to the rim. And I'm driving forward with my boom attached and the outrigger that I'm in free spool right now. I gotta go very slow. This is something you never see us do. I know a lot of people always say in the comments like, oh, in my city or my country, you know, the whole freeway would be shut down for 10 hours to work this job. Uh, try doing that in Los Angeles. One of the busiest cities in the world. Uh, with the economy the size of a small country, shutting down is not an option ever here, man. So we're gonna get that. Gonna get them open up. Let me just double check and let's do this. Alright, and this is what it looks like a hundred foot winch. than it is to be honest because the trailer is empty. is up there it's gonna fight itself which is expected Thank you. 
pounds in the basket each in that configuration. So I got 40,000 pounds between those two and a 30,000 pound snatch block. Man, if only this thing had a, like a freight liner. I always get freight liners. And then have those pull pins, I could just pull it to me. That'd be a Peterbilt. Absolutely not. But is CHP happy? Yes. Are the motors going to be happy? Yes. Because now I got two different lanes. That one there. And then this one here. This could be used as two lanes. So this right here is a shoulder. They use these. They can use this as an emergency. Oh, man. I just noticed. The truck's all messed up. I bet you that's part of the accident. So I'll open up this lane, this lane. Uh, Caltrans assisting with the uh, sand and then we'll just hold it here alleviate this traffic where they can get a hard closure and then flip this once they give us the okay the hard part though is done oh look Hulk's going to be on the news again dang <laughs> the news is getting in trouble I guess they're not opening up the shoulder after all. Just this one lane. What a mess. The first one goes. No better than waiting at Disneyland. <laughs> oh, look, Omar Slavid was in that mess. He's got a ton of extra sand and stuff. Oh, that's not Omar's. I've heard of that company before. I like the green. Set up my outriggers again on this side. I, sh I went forward so I could drag it more towards me since there's a bunch of rocks there. Our goal is to Omar and I back up one in front of the other parallel to this unit on the roof side and push it away from us when we flip it. That way we keep that lane right there 
and this lane open. They don't know uh, the ETA for Caltrans to get here with the dozer to start clearing all this up. Well, I, I fully believe that we'll have this upright before that even happens. And you can't argue that two lanes open is better than everything shut down. Hey Omar, is that your Tesla? Huh? Is that your Tesla? <laughs> I drive a Porsche down there. Okay, we're ready for round two. I don't know why they're stopped. Come on, buddy. <laughs> By the way, look how dope that is, man. I got two eight-foot grommet slings attached to the rims. No chain there, nothing. Bailey stole accessories, man. Are you guys believers yet? So now that I'm directly in front of it, I'll just be pulling this baby straight. Straight, straight, straight to me. and you can't just go a little bit slow until you pass the cops. Do the slow and steady. You can tell by the, uh, the paint bay, the rust, this is an older model P. much mid-air roll this where we lift it up and as we roll it we, we, we keep it within uh, our boom line all right I got in position I managed to squeeze through now since the cylinders open up a bit I got about six feet right there I'm gonna just uh put up oh yeah plenty of sand even though there's plenty of sand all over the freeway I'm gonna put a frame grab hook in that corner and just push out this this trailer to compress it then I'm working back up okay so I'm in position you'll also notice I have a uh, hold on rotate a little bit I got the deck winch in the back, so that'll pull it to me while the front pushes it out. Because at this angle with this height, if I just go in with that main cable, it'll pretty much up right the front of the trailer. You don't want that right now. See? Now I go in with the deck winch. And look at the front of the trailer. I'm compressing it. 
Now I can go out with it a little bit more. In fact, let's go down and out. Really good angle right here. Beautiful. Now we're going with the deck winch more. Come on, man. Look at that. Okay, okay. Ah, now we can walk around. Not bad, huh? At all. Whoa. It's fully compressed, huh? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Hydraulic crane, shout out to you guys when you see this video. Send over one of your cranes. Yeah, that's pretty much fully compressed. Look at it. I, I, I can go in like a tiny bit more. Let's try it. so it doesn't come open during the roll and no more ready to back up all with horrible lane clearance and keeping this lane open like I said guy closure is not an option here you guys been super busy with this I got my 3H chain grade 10 by the way and I'm gonna chain bind it on each end so it's impossible for the cylinder to come open because it's light, it's very possible for that to happen and ruin the whole flip. We got to be absolutely dumb precise with this one. I just need one more chain binder here. I backed up Omar. He's going to get the cab. And it should make for a really nice flip, man. All while keeping both lanes open. Yeah, I told the cops that we would be done before Caltrans is here with the loader to start the cleanup. And I intend to keep that. Right, chain binding is secure. This puppy ain't going nowhere, man. We're ready to rig to flip it. By the way, I got all this stuff that Bailey's too. The grade 10, Ivis, these two. They're not just synthetics, they got everything. So hit up your boy Thad for all your towing needs. I went in with the Y cable, I got lift, now I just run, uh, I think my 15 footers, my Bailey's 15 footers. Yeah, that's going to be my lift for sure. Alright, set up in record time. I showed you guys that part. I got my auxiliary lines for the lift, Bailey's 15 footers, and then for the catch, Bailey's platinum slings second stage for the yacht so it's nice and tight ready to rock let me skip over guys Josh's moment of truth we're ready hey lots of rocks CHP wants to shut that lane down when we do it uh, out of safety as a precaution Omar doing oh beautiful man everything's coming over nice okay all catch
back end is perfect. Maybe Omar and I can mess with the, uh, oh, I could do it. <clears throat> Let me pick up the front of the tractor, the, the trailer, and scoot it over. But well, that'll be the uh, blue aux cable. And the blue main cable. Beautiful. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Send me that video! <laughs> Omar just wants to get the front end straight. Hey, Omar! Hold it there and as he backs up, we'll, we'll put it right on his underwear. Bring your steer down and back up. We can open up the lanes now. Let me go tell him. What you guys think of that roll? Perfect, man. Look at that. Didn't come open once. Good. That is such a cool sight. Rotator power. Roll 50 tons. So it's almost the same way that, that I had planned where instead of lifting it up in the air and rolling it into place, we achieved the same effect. My line of action right there with the second stage on the rotators, by going in with that and then extending out at the right time, as you see, it came over while also scooting towards our trucks in place. So it's not like it spilled over into this lane or anything. <clears throat> very controlled, very smooth. Wow. Wow. And then from here, Omar can just hold it in place no, while the heavy backs up right underneath. All right, just support it right there. Hold it right there. Right on the money. I don't know you guys told. <laughs> oh, and the reason they haven't opened up the other lane yet is they're waiting off. This guy right here. you guys that I would have this upright before that skip loader gets there as I was telling the cops to go ahead and let the traffic through now they said the skip loader had just parked on the other side of this wall this is a on-ramp from Pioneer to the 605 so it worked out beautiful man could not have timed that better if I tried All right, this is going to be an all-hands-on-deck thing. I got the boring part of putting the truck away, so I'm going to double time, get everything disconnected and hope put away. We can clear this lane ASAP. Not that they're going to open it for traffic because of the loader and everything, but still. My job here is done. I'll get back to y'all in a bit. Making great timing with that. Bulk is fully put away. Just gotta get two straps from Omar. I let him use my uh, Bailey's grommet slings for the catch. And I think I'm done. He's hooked up. Oh man, perfect. This is Omar's. My rim slip right there from the, the other side, and I'm out. Like, if you guys remember that tanker and Oceanside video I posted recently, same principle. I went between the diesel tank and the, the box right here, the step, at an angle, so it hugged this. Obviously, it's a, it's a complete wreck in every sense of the word, but it's always cool to rig properly. Twist lock one. Twist lock two. Look at it, man. The real 
real deal, man. Next to the platinum slings, these are one of the toughest things I have. And then this little protector adds so much more durability. I mean, I drug this thing about 100 feet with this pair. And Omar used it as a catch. And it's super lightweight. Reach that goes back. By the way, say hello to Jeffrey, y'all. <laughs> He's been chilling here. It's too cold for him, but he'll be coming out soon. I'm out of here, man. Peace.